Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today's topic was brought to me by a, a viewer. They wanted to see their sales trend data, such as this. They wanted to be able to highlight a couple different items, and yet they wanted to have the baseline or the average for the entire period shown, as well as the av weekly average for the weeks selected. Sounds like a simple enough problem. I knew that if you wanted to have something that was constant, regardless of your selection, you needed to have it fixed. And then to get the selected week sales, we needed to be able to basically take the value for both of the weeks and divide it by the number of weeks to get the average weekly sales. Let me show you how I did that. Here we are at the table. I've got the baseline sales. It's a calculated field. I'm going to come up here to edit. Pretty simple. It's a fixed formula. And this is six weeks data. This is a filter that says that determines what data is going to be shown on that bar chart. So we're going to uh, recognize that filter. We also want to recognize or filter based on the category that we see in this table here. And then we're just taking the sum of the sales, that's all of the sales, and we're just dividing it by six because there happens, to, there's always going to be six weeks worth of data. So that is a average. I tried a couple other things, but this happened to be the simplest. Now we went to the selected weekly sales. I took the total sales, and remember as we select the different bars or the different weeks, that will filter this sales data. So it's the sales divided by the distinct count of the weeks starting. This is a date assigned to each of the, the weeks. And so what it's basically saying is take the sales for those bars or those weeks, count the number of bars that have been selected, divide it, and then you get your weekly average for the selected data. They also wanted to look at the daily results, and so for the average daily sales, it's very similar. It's basically the same formula, except now instead of taking the, we take the weekly number, and then we divide that by 7 to get the daily value. You'll see the same thing when we go to baseline daily. Is we're just taking the oops, we're taking the total sales. It's only respecting or only following recognizing the category because we want it to be broken out. And then also this filter here that was a show, no show. And so we're saying take all the sales that you see in the chart and divide it by 42, which is seven days for six weeks. And we'll just bring over the daily, if we can find that. And now you can see when everything is selected, the weekly sales baseline equals the selected week. And same with the daily. And when we select one or two items, what this formula here is doing is, you know, the reference line is recalculated, 1479. This is the fix. This formula here is just saying take the 13,500 plus the 16,000 divided by 2. And then it breaks it also up by category. I tried a couple different things. In the fixed formula, the problem was anytime you introduce a date into this fixed section, when you select the bars, it also filters out this fixed function. So it had to be completely independent of the order date, of the selected, um, of the date. So there you go. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. 
I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.